What's going on everybody, Jason here, and today I've got this 2021 Ram 1500 Classic Express regular cab. And when it comes to the trims that you can get when it comes to the regular cabs, now this one in particular is an ST. It's an ST Express, of course, but you can also get the basic one even more than this, which is the Tradesman, the entry level one, and then it goes to the Express, which you're looking at right now, or you can jump up uh, to the SLT, which will have a little bit more features uh, compared to this one. Now, when it comes to the regular cab trucks and the bed, the sizes that you can get are either a six foot four box or an eight foot box. And starting things off in the front, you can see this whole truck is in the same body color as the color of the actual truck. Now, if you were to get like a tradesman, obviously you would get the black bumpers and a black grill and all of that because it is an entry level truck. And this one being the Express, this one does have the Express black accents package. So what you'll notice on this one are the black headlamp bezels, which are a little bit more darker compared to just a regular tradesman you'll also get the body color grill and on the rear i'll show you you'll also get a black ram head on the tailgate and you also get it obviously in the front because this is the black accents package and also with this you're gonna get the black 20 inch aluminum wheels which look really really nice especially being a bit of a smaller truck and kind of looking like a toy to be honest also with this one you do get your fog lamps now obviously these are just the regular halogen ones you can see the orange yellowish in there um, same thing with your headlamps they're just the regular halogen headlamps and then of course you've got the body color grill like i mentioned and the black uh, grill inserts in between those and that's pretty much in the front there are no tow hooks that you can get on this if you do want those you would have to go up to the slt version and unfortunately on these ones the hood is just a typical standard hood unlike the four-door versions that i've shown you with the sports performance hood you cannot get those on these trucks and also an upgraded option that this particular truck has is the anti-spin diff rear axle and once i go to the back there are a few more options like the rear sliding window the ram boxes which will give you added led bed lighting and a bed divider a hitch you'll get also and then a spray and liner as well which is also added on to this truck now if you take a look at this truck from the side view you can clearly see like i was mentioning this just looks like a little toy truck to be honest because nowadays you really don't see regular cab trucks as often because now people rather get the four-door quad cab or the crew cab you know it's so much easier to have room in the back but obviously if you're just looking for a strict work truck and you really don't care about all of that room and you don't want to spend that much money this would be perfect for you and like i mentioned you see those beautiful 20 inch black wheels which are a part of the express black accents package also because this is a hemi you get the hemi 5 0.7 liter badging also the ram 1500 classic badging as well and also optioned on this truck you also get the ram boxes in the rear now typically on a four-door truck if you were to get the ram box it you would have a, a plug inside to connect your tools or anything like that but this particular one does not have it you just have the cargo area in the ram boxes and that's about it so when you go ahead and open up the ram boxes you can see you get the same amount of room that you would in any other four-door truck you just don't have that plug that you would typically have on top of that you have your ram boxes to put your tools and all of that good stuff and a lot a lot of people are not obviously fans of having the ram boxes but a lot of people are so it kind of really comes down to if you really do need the ram boxes or if you don't and heading over to the rear of the truck like i was mentioning in the front you get that beautiful beautiful blacked out ram head badging and of course the blacked out 4x4 badging as well and then you've also got a body color bumper not only in the front but in the rear as well and this is part of the express package and of course because it is a hemi you also get the chrome uh, dual exhaust as well and then like i mentioned this truck also has the hitch at the back and of course your plugs and wiring and all of that to connect your trailer if you do need to on this particular one because it is just an st you will not have the option to get the rear sensors when you're parking and stuff like that that you would have to go up to an slt and as for the rear taillights they're just pretty standard taillights to any other truck which are non-led or anything like that so pretty standard stuff back here and if we go ahead and open up the rear tailgate you can see like i was mentioning it already has the spray and bed liner directly from the factory and you also get 
LED bed lighting. Now you can get the LED bed lighting without the RAM boxes, but because this one has the RAM boxes, it comes packaged with that. And you also get the bed divider at the back here as well. And of course, not only do you get the traditional hooks built into the truck, but you also get the adjustable tie down hooks up top like you see in that little rail area. And like I was mentioning, this truck also has your rear sliding window. Of course, it's not a power sliding window, but you still get a rear sliding window, which is nice to have. Now, typically when I do my reviews, I would normally say, let's head into the rear of the vehicle. But as you can see, this truck does not have a rear. It's just a regular two door cab truck. Um, but again, if you go into the front here, there is a bit more space compared to a four door truck because obviously, like I mentioned, this does not have a rear. So these doors are a little bit more bigger. So like you can see on the left hand side of the door, you have a little bit of space to put, you know, small little items, which typically you won't have that space for a normal four door truck. Also, you've got your traditional space at the bottom to put small little items, cup holder and all of that. Right above that, you've got another little space to put something. And then if you keep going up, you've got kind of like this vinyl feel to the uh, trim right there. And then of course you've got your window controls, side mirror controls, and all of that good stuff. Now, because this truck has the power and remote entry group, this is gonna give you what's called premium door trim. And also what you're gonna get are your side mirrors on the exterior will be heated. You're gonna get keyless entry from your key fob. And then of course you're gonna get power locks. Also, you've got your standard six speaker setup in this truck. There is no upgrade available on these ones. Now, as we take a look at these nice looking seats, even though that they are cloth and this is a regular cab truck, this is no different than a normal four door truck with cloth seats. These are obviously comfortable as well. And obviously like you see, these are the bench seating setup. So when it comes to the ST truck, you can get cloth bench seats. What you're looking at right now, you can either get black on black or black with diesel gray. Another option that you can get is the HD vinyl bench seating, which you can only get with the black diesel gray interior. And of course, both the front seats are manual adjustable. There's no power or anything like that in this truck, of course. And because this is a regular cab, you do have a little bit of room behind both the front seats to put small little items. So it kind of reminds me of a four door mega cab where you've got these hooks at the back, of course, and then underneath you do have a little bit of storage room to put small little items. And then of course you can see your manual rear sliding window. And of course, if you look underneath just your typical stuff, your foot pedals, your parking brake to the left, and that little latch right above the parking brake is to release it. In the center there, you do have your hood latch release. Above all of that, you do have your front lighting controls and of course your rear uh, lighting controls as well. So your fog lights in the front and all of that. And then your steering wheel is manual adjustable. So once you enter into the express truck, your whole dashboard is covered in black trim, of course. And then you've got your speakers in both corners and in the center, of course. And in front of you, you do have this seven inch display cluster which is very, very similar to any other truck, whether it be a four door or a regular cab. You've got your typical tack meter speed and then a bunch of different temperatures, your uh, gas and all of that good stuff. And of course, in the center, like any other vehicle, you can flick through a bunch of different options that you can have in front of you. Again, like even this is a regular cab, you still have that option of having different things in front of you. So it makes life a little bit more easier. And when it comes to your steering wheel, it is wrapped in this vinyl trim, which goes all the way along. And on the actual steering wheel to the left of it, obviously you've got your Bluetooth settings and then you've got your controls, like I mentioned for your uh, gauge cluster in front of you. To the right of the steering wheel, you've got your gear selection up or down and then your cruise control settings and all of that. And of course, in the center of the steering wheel, you can't forget that chrome looking Ram head logo. And of course, if you turn the steering wheel to the left, you've got your controls for your high beams, windshield wipers and all of that good stuff. Moving into what you would typically call a center hand rest. You have your third jump seat, of course. Now, when this seat is down, you have obviously your three cup holders and you can flick up this 
uh, middle section here to have a little bit more storage within the seat and inside there you do have USB ports and whatnot so you can actually put stuff in there to charge and just kind of tuck away. Now, of course, when this seat is up, you do have a third person that can sit in the middle there, which is nice to have, especially if this is a work truck and you have a team of, let's say, three people, it's perfect for you guys. And if you look across in front of the jump seat, you do have two outlets, of course, in the front. And then in the center there, you do have a small little room to put, you know, small little items, of course. And above that, to the left, you do have, of course, your traditional rotary dial uh, gear selector of course and then you've got your four wheel lock for low two wheel drive and then of course your manual uh, neutral button right there and if you look at this slot right here where typically you would have like parking sensors and all of that stuff it's completely empty this is a pretty much a basic truck of course uh, the only two things you have here are your tow haul mode and traction control that's pretty much it and if you look right above that you've got your traditional heating and cooling temperature controls which you can control through there or through the touchscreen which i'll show you in a second also if you look to the right of the temperature controls you have a little slot there i don't know why it would be there but I'm assuming if you want to put your key there for whatever reason, you have one there and then you have another one on the passenger side, which I'll show you uh, near the end. Also, what this truck has is something called the wheel and sound group package, which is, of course, going to give you cloth bench seating, carpet flooring and then your front floor mats as well. So now if we take a look at the 8.4 inch touchscreen, it's the Uconnect 8.4 inch. Uh, this is part of the electronics convenience group. So if you don't get that, you're just going to get the small five inch screen with pretty much nothing on it. Um, but again, if you are going to be getting this type of a truck for a work truck or whatever it is, the purpose that you want to use it for, um, it's really not necessary to have an 8.4 since it's going to be a work truck. But if you do need it, you have the option to get the electronics convenience group and getting the Uconnect 8.4 inch touchscreen. This is gonna give you obviously the Apple CarPlay and Google Android Auto and all of that stuff. So it's very, very similar or the same to any other uh, Uconnect system. So you've got your media section, the Sirius XM, AM, FM. You've got your climate section right there, which of course, like I was mentioning, you can control your climate through the touchscreen or the actual buttons. And then if you click into controls, you can dim your rear view mirror. You can go to your backup camera and then of course your settings. And if you go ahead and click on the backup camera, you're just gonna see a traditional backup camera view. There's not gonna be any other angles or anything like that, like typically have shown you in other uh, more expensive trucks. And right next to the controls, you've got your app section, which again, you'll have different options to go through, like your backup camera, mirror dimmer, and all of that good stuff. So a bunch of different options that you can go through. Next to that, you've got your phone settings, if you do have your phone connected or Bluetooth or whatever. And then again, you can go through the settings as a separate button down there and then fine tune whatever you need to do. And above the screen, you do have this nice RAM lettering with a tiny bit of space if you wanna put a phone up there or a key fob or a small little wallet or whatever you need to, you have the little space to put it. And above all of that, you've got your obviously rear view dimmable mirror with the assist and SOS buttons on there. And above that, you've just got your typical interior dome lighting and nothing really else going on because this does not have a sunroof. So there's no button for that. No rear power sliding window. It's just the manual one. So very clean look here, just your interior lighting. And coming over to the passenger side, like I was mentioning that little slot that you see right next to the temperature control, you have the same one over on the passenger side. So, hey, if you have two keys, you can put two keys in there or whatever you need to. But if you look right above the glove department, you have a open space to put small little items or paperwork or whatever you need to. And then of course, right below that, you've got your traditional glove department, which you can have small little items in there, um, like paperwork or whatever you need to, you can throw in there. You have two little sections, so which makes it really great. So when it comes to what powers this truck, you can get two engine options. You can get the 3.6 liter V6, or you can get the 5.7 liter Hemi V8, which of course, like I've shown you, this truck has. So for example, this particular truck, because it has the Hemi engine, is gonna give you 395 horsepower and 410 foot-pound of torque. Now, when it comes to towing, you will get two options when you choose the Hemi option for the engine. You're gonna get the 3.21 or the 3.92. 
With the 3.21, you can tow a little over 8,000 pounds. And with the 3.92, you can tow about 9,000 pounds. And here is the window sticker for this Classic Express. You can see up top where it shows the regular, you know, typical stuff, engine, color, and all of that. You've got your standard equipment and then you've got your optional equipment that this truck has added on so it has a ton of features as you can see added on uh, which makes it a little bit more premium and then of course at the bottom you've got your total price with everything now again this is in canadian and minus any dealer discounts or manufacturing discounts that are being offered at the time and that's it for this 2021 ram 1500 classic regular cab like always, let me know in the comments down below, do you love this truck or do you hate it?